evening sports fans and welcome to the Blood Bowl. For tonight's contest you've joined a capacity crowd packed with members for, of every race from across the known worlds, all howling like banshees in, in anticipation for tonight's game. Welcome. Now, hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to Blood Bowl, I'm Ed Nater and I'm going to be starting a new series. A new campaign, in fact, on this fantastic game. I literally cannot describe how much I enjoy this game. And for this, it's a very strategic and tactical game, but at the same time, it's quite an aggressive and sporty game. So you can feel it's quite a good combination. And for its price, it's £5 on Amazon at the moment. If you have a fiver lying around, I could not recommend it. This and th this game we have here is actually the only the normal edition, which is the fiver. For ten pounds more, you can get the legendary edition. Sorry. Uh, you can get the legendary edition, which instead of having just nine teams, it has twenty. And I would have got it, but my computer wasn't powerful enough to run it. Not only this, the company Cyanide Studios, who brought out this game, are also bringing out another game soon. In fact, it's it's. You can buy it on Steam or pre-order it on Steam, and it's called Dungeon Ball, which is much like this game, but in a different setting with a slightly different rules, but and with mixed teams. But anyway, I think we're going to start off with an orc team because they're a very good team to have for an all-around starting team. Um, well, I am the red of the blue nomads. It's Sky Pirates and Yarg has to be the uh. Being uh, pirates, that's what we say, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to be orcs, but you also have humans, dwarves. In fact, you know what? I'll just go through them. It'll probably change the uh, saying. But you got humans, dwarves, Skaven, orcs, of course, which will be our team, lizard men. Goblins, Wood Elves, Chaos, and Dark Elves. Now I'm going for an Orc team because I much prefer a mix of the passing and the uh, killing. But you can choose from a lot different types of team. Sorry the graphics are on such a low quality but I normally don't have it on, on this sort of quality. I'm much more of a... I have my on the highest quality. It's just for recording purposes. It has to be quite low. But the Legendary Edition contain I can say contains undead, vampires... The only... in fact the only team that Games Workshop, which is the team that made... which is the company that originally designed the board game for this. The only team that is not from their board game version no, that is from their board game version that isn't in this is the Chaos Dwarfs and that is well known to be the least played and the most difficult to find team out of everyone. But anyway let's get to it shall we? So when you start you get all of these options. Now the glowing stadiums are stadiums that have a 
contest in this period. There are five periods in a season. So this can, can just continue, continue, continue. So these two also have them. But as you can see, you need 80 prestige. And you need 20 prestige. I have no prestige at the moment, but... That's probably going to be the one that... Wait, now it's period four. That's Anyway, I'll, I'll look around afterwards, but this is the first pi this the first um, first one. So, Ed Sky Pirates will be taking part in the Clean Cup, aptly named considering it is not a clean it is not a clean tournament this game. So we're going to buy some players. So I'll just run you through what players I buy normally and what players I'd advise other people buy. Um, so, now normally I will go for, in fact, I will go for this time, two throwers, because they are perfect for playing the ball and getting the ball moving, which, you, it may seem like, isn't that the point of the game, but actually, there are two ways of winning a blood ball match. One is by getting the ball into the touchdown zone every, for, a cert, for more than your opponent does much like American football and then the other way of winning is by killing or injuring more of your opponent's team than so that they can then not continue the match and therefore you win by default by ha and the scores aren't counted um, I've never won by that personally, but my strategy with this is if you go for throwers and goblins, two goblins are fine. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get four blitzers. Three black orcs. Sorry, it's just frame drops. Um, and then I'm going to fill it out with linemen. Okay, so now going back. We now have 20,000 to spend. Now, you can get apothecaries, which are very important, especially if you have a much more running, weaker team. I mean, you also need it for the stronger teams like Chaos and um, Lizard Men. Also need them, but if you have a weaker team, you need apothecaries because your players will be getting injured and they will need healing and in fact it can save some of your players from death which is incredibly important. Rerolls which are actually fantastic because should you have a bit of bad luck and not like the roll you've been given you can then buy a new take buy a new roll and it'll be perfect. Not necessarily though. These can backfire and cause as much trouble as the first roll maybe even more. Now cheerleaders, they add to fan fa cheering fans. Cheering fans at the very beginning of a match will be, can at, ki at any kickoff, cheering fans can A, give you an extra re-roll, B, allow you to bribe the ref, or C, attack players from the other team and put them out of the, uh, knock them to the ground for one or two turns before like just before kickoff, so that can actually provide a great help when it comes to playing. But I'm not going to buy any of these because I want to save up for an apothecary and some re rolls. So, I will not be adding that, but we will have a fair amount of money, I guarantee it. See, we have 28,000. We can't buy this, is where you buy the um mercenaries. 
but we can't afford the main, the star player. These two are star players. And we have here an orc, I think it's a blitzer. Varag Guldjua. He is a blitzer, he's much, he's like, he's like already leveled up, he's stronger and stuff than most other players. He's got a higher ar armor value. Then there's Mor Morgan Thorg, who as a, can actually be bought by any team. These, all these players, and then you just have normal players that will be playing in your team. All these players will only be one-time players. And they all have the loner skill. The loner skill means they can't use your team's rerolls. Anyway, I won't be buying these. I will actually be buying a Wandering Apothecary. And an extra reroll. Okay, so we are playing the elves. Now this, the, an elf team is fast, is a play a passing game, and their their main offensive players will be the war dancers, and you'll be able to tell them by the giant ginger Mohicans they will have. You know, just to make sure you can't, you can always tell who to avoid or who to try and kill or maim.